Well guys, that was the last time we cleaned up the F-150 because today it's being sold and it's the last video that we're making in this truck. Bittersweet, mixed emotions, wifey feels the same way. And as we speak, there's a gentleman uh, in an airplane coming all the way from San Antonio, Texas to pick the F-150 up. So we got to do the last startup. It's not really a cold start, but almost. selling it and I won't be able to experience it again but god this truck is awesome so for the last time ever we're gonna have some repetitive content in the F-150 <laughs> man I'm gonna miss that whoa the downshift I'm gonna miss them too Well, as I've mentioned in uh, previous videos, is that I'm looking to get a new truck, which is why this truck is being sold. But like I said, I mean, it's with mixed emotions. We've had a lot of fun in this truck, a lot of good content. Uh, it's been a build process. It's been a lot of subscribers coming to the channel because of the F-150. So, uh, you know, I I'm sure a lot of you won't like it, but I'm just moving on to something, uh, to something new. But like I said, I, mean, it's, I, I think it's, it's just time. The truck is st still in great condition. Um, it's going to a guy that's really been wanting this truck, so I feel good about that. But uh, yeah, I mean, I don't, <laughs> I don't know much else to say uh, until we uh, pick up the gentleman here who's buying it. One more pull. Go, baby, go! <laughs> All right, here we are, Pittsburgh International Airport. I just got the uh, text here saying that they have landed. So uh, yeah, we're about to pick up the new owner of the F-150. <laughs> it's so weird, but I know it's going to a good home. This guy's a truck enthusiast and he loves this truck. So again, yeah, I'm, I'm happy about that. All right, so uh, we're back home. This is the new owner of the F-150, Maurice. Driven or flew all the way from San Antonio, Texas. He's about to drive the truck home. Again, bittersweet. Are you happy with it though? I'm very happy. You think you're gonna love it? I know I am, I'm excited. <laughs> he already has a 2015 F-150 crew cab. That's like seven inch lift and all that stuff. So, but he's still getting this, he's getting rid of the other red one, right? So yeah, we're saying a goodbye. It's been a fun trip, but here we are. Last video in the F-150. Sydney wants to say goodbye too. Uh, bye bye Trump. <laughs> <laughs> you gonna miss it? Yes, very. I know. We'll get a new truck, though. But I know they'll take care of it. Yeah, he'll take care of it. This is Maurice. He's the new owner. Hi. So uh, he's about to drive all the way to Texas. San Antonio, like southern Texas. Wow. It's like much longer than we do to Destin. It's the last time we're seeing it. Bye, truck. Well, at least you're not crying like you did with the Fusion. Yeah, The new owners of the vehicles that I sell and drive off on my street always have to do that to me. I mean, that truck sounds so good. I'm gonna have a hard task at hand with the new truck to beat that sound. Bye bye to the F-150. All right, so it's the next day. We're in the AMG, since I don't have a truck <laughs> anymore. And we're also back at Moon Township Fort where the channel started because this is my order sheet. So the day after I sold my F-150, that I bought here while I was working here in 2015, so that's over five years ago, I've just ordered a 2022 Ford F-150. So the previous video that I uploaded on the channel, we were talking about the Raptor, but I still don't know when that thing is coming out. And if it's coming out for next year as a 2022 model, then I won't have a truck for, I mean, I don't know, probably a year, and I can't wait that long. So I've ordered a 2022 F-150. I don't know why I'm pointing at these, because these are 2021's previous body style. The 2022 that I've ordered is the Gen 14, so completely redesigned, 
completely new truck. Yeah, this is a 2020 actually. The Raptor's probably gonna be a 2022. But this one here is pretty cool. This is 2020 Lariat Sports Special Edition package. I don't know if I like these stripes and everything here, but if you guys can see the leather interior, it's black and it's red. It looks pretty freaking cool. And I'm not gonna reveal the full spec. That's gonna be a delivery video in about eight weeks because that's when the truck is gonna be in. But it is a Lariat. I'm gonna say that. So it's a step up from the truck that we've had before. This is gonna have leather seats and a lot more features than I've been used to in the F-150 that we've had. So super exciting. I've officially ordered a new truck. I put the deposit down and everything. We gotta wait about eight weeks, but I think that's the best bandage for my wounds here because I'm actually missing the F-150. It was very weird to come home yesterday and have that big empty spot in the driveway because I don't have my truck anymore, but at least we have a new one coming. So yeah, I know there's been a lot of transitions back and forth in the video and I've been editing the part that you guys seen uh, up till this point here. And I <laughs> I don't like when I, I see myself and I'm kind of like, mm, you know, the tone is down, I'm kind of boring. I know it wasn't the most upbeat video, maybe not the most entertaining either. And I apologize about that, but it's honestly because, you know, it felt weird to sell that truck. So used to the whole driveway being all packed. We got the AMG and the hoop did just sitting here now. Wifey's working, but it's like this big spot just empty right over there in the driveway. And it's just weird because we have a lot of history with that truck. That was a build process. You know, we modified that more than we did the other AMG that I had. So, you know, it's weird how you get emotionally attached to these vehicles. But I know, again, it's going to a good home and all that. We don't need to babble about that anymore, but I think that's why maybe my tone in the video was a little different. And yes, we did announce that, you know, we got a new truck coming, but that's, you know, eight, nine weeks from now. So it's not like we had this, you know, delivery video or whatever. So I just wanted to apologize if the video seemed kind of boring, but it is what it is sometimes and you just got to roll with it. With that being said, huge thanks to everyone that's been watching the last uh, What Happens If video. We'll be through it in reverse. If you haven't seen that video yet, you need to. It has about 700 some thousand views on YouTube, but on Facebook it has over 7 million. I mean, every time I watch it, I laugh just by watching myself. It's funny. So check it out if you haven't already and you want a good laugh. Still waiting on the wheels for the AMG. They should be in here pretty soon. We also have more videos planned for the Hoopty and the Ferrari. I don't want to stand and babble for too long. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. <laughs> Maybe you didn't. I don't know. I understand if you didn't. But if you did, give it a huge thumbs up and if you're stopping by for the first time and you haven't already and you want to, please subscribe and I'll see you guys very, very soon. Bye-bye.